If you want to run this system drain to waste, you will not need a reservoir and you will not need a pump. And instead of connecting this water hose to your pump, you would instead connect it to a water faucet. That's going to give you municipal water pressure and to stop the, the water flowing from through the unit continuously uh, and only flow water through the unit while you need it to run, you would buy this water valve. This is a hydrogen water gate. With drain to waste cooling, it's a little different than using with the recirculation system because recirculation, we're going to give constant water flow and we're going to regulate the unit coming on and off with the supplied power cord. With drain to waste, you don't want to be that wasteful with your water, so you want to regulate the unit on and off with water flow. The unit needs three things to operate, gas, water, and electricity. Take away any of those three things, the unit won't run. So if we take this valve and we plug this into our CO2 monitor, when the monitor calls for gas, it's going to allow water flowing to the unit, and with the unit plugged directly into the wall, it will activate, CO2 levels are reached, the valve closes, it turns the unit off, although power is constantly supplied to it. If you're having problems keeping the screen clean on the Hydrogen Pro, you can buy one of these filters from us and you can install this in line anywhere uh, along the supply line. You know, sometimes municipal water, uh, water has a lot of calcium deposits that'll clog the screen up. Uh, sometimes you get uh, trash in your reservoir that you'll, you, you know, your pump will pick up and blow into the screen and cause it to uh, become unreliable because of that. And to stop that, you know, you can use one of these filters. You don't have to buy them from us. You can actually get these at uh, local hardware stores. You just want to make sure you use a high flow cartridge filter so that you're not slowing down any of the flow to the unit because the unit does need uh, high flow and pressure to operate properly.